Hi guys, and welcome back to our video with our mid-season Premier League. Ah, oh, shit. That's not like it. Our video. Hi guys. Like Hi guys, and welcome to our mid-season 2018-19 Premier League mid-season review video. So yes, in this video, we're going to be talking about how we think our teams have done so far. Uh, we're going to be talking about how the um, win-loss record, stuff like that, and how we think the season will go. Uh, predicted finishes, we can change our top fours, we can change our bottom three who will go relegated. So yeah, our first video we did together, a uh, Premier League prediction video last year, uh, got well, over 2,000 views on YouTube. I was we're famous. Yeah, <laughs> we're very, very happy with that. I didn't think I'd do it anywhere near that, but I was so happy. Um, so yeah, if this one can get even a third of that, I'll be amazed. So yeah, thank you for all who watched that. So yeah. So we're going to start, like we did last time, with James, with uh, Brighton and Hove the Albion. The, so, worst, the worst team in the, in the front. Oh, so how do you think they, they've done so far? Uh, well, before I start, I want to say uh, condolences to the family and friends of the Milan Asala. Oh, yeah. Um, I hope he's alive. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's hope he, they find something. So let's start with that. So, yeah, uh, Brighton have done about the same as last time. Like, I think, I was thinking about this this morning. I think we're, we're, we're becoming a stoke of the Premier League but, no one cares about us and we're just there yeah and eventually we'll go down but like I, w I watched match of the day and like like last last night was match very of the day very confident you'll stay in the Premier League they didn't make a single mention of our team whatsoever in the following game they spoke about Mitrovic and that was it and then moved on and this is like every week so we, we don't I mean we're 13th we're doing alright we're, we're 7 points uh, away from drop zone so that's not it's not a bad start I think we won't go down that's for sure no um I think with the other teams, how they're doing stuff, and the we've got a relatively comfortable next few weeks. Obviously, we've got um, Watford on the weekend, then West Brom FA Cup replay. Mm -hmm. So we have still got a cup run yeah. at the moment, which is you know not too bad. And then I think we've got I think like Newcastle at some point too, and, then, and Burnley. Well, Newcastle, 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 Newcastle right behind. Right. Two points, two points. So yeah. it's close, but I think yeah, yeah. I mean, we've 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 had a bit of a. A low point in the last month, but this always happens. Like around mm. December, January, we have our low point. And mm. um, ended 2018 very well. Beat Everton, drew against Arsenal, uh, narrow loss against Chelsea. You know, mm. so but then we we haven't won since the Everton game. So we've Ooh. lost three, drawn one. So we yeah. have played Liverpool and United. So they yeah. were two big teams. So yeah. and I think the fact is we we beat Man United in the first the first game. We've only lost one nil to you to Liverpool. Yeah, your game was a good game. Game was good. Yeah, could have could have got a draw. In last season, we lost four nil and five one, and this time we only lost one nil each time. So it's not too bad. And then um, we drew against Arsenal, so it's not it's not a, not a bad thing. So I mean, thirty six conceded, twenty seven scored. It's probably better than last time. I mean, by this point, yeah. pretty about forty goals conceded and not many goals. We're scoring many more goals. Thirty six conceded more than Newcastle have. We'll get to my stats. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. No, but then, you, then, then you, you look at like Huddersfield and Fulham, who are both on minus twenty eight goal difference, and we're, we're on minus Damn. nine. Sweet Jesus! <laughs> so they, Hudders oh my gosh, Fulham are conceding fifty three, and Huddersfield are conceding forty one. Uh, but if Huddersfield have scored thirteen goals in this entire season, so that kind of just shows you kind of like we, we'll do fine. There, there are teams that are doing worse than us, and we're in a high, oh, yeah. we're in a high enough position that we'll be fine. Yeah, I think um, we'll be fine. Murray scored twice at the weekend uh, last night, so um, yeah. So he's back in form. He hasn't scored for like eight games. Um, just in case we keep our best players fit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Brighton are going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going down, but I, I think he'll. Yeah. I think about well, up, lower upper mid table. Yeah, yeah. we've we not we've not signed anyone this 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 January, but Hugh said deadline day guys today. By the way, transfer Hugh, deadline Hugh, day. Hugh said at the beginning of the uh, beginning of January we're not signing off. We don't need to. I mean, <laughs> we need a left back because Bong is atrocious. Hmm. Um, and we get, we need the only, some defenders. Only thing we've done is uh, Marcus Sutton has gone to Germany and Schlotter has gone to Italy. That's the only two deals we've done, hmm. apart from like. Under twenty three, then youth players have gone on loan to different clubs. Yeah. Um, so we've not brought everyone in. We've only we turned them two out, but they're both left backs and right backs. Um, so all we've got left is Bong. Bernardo is back in training, thank goodness. Um, as is your hand backs is now back from the Asian Cup. Ryan's back from the Asian Cup. So, but I, I it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep it at thirteenth. Thirteenth. I think we'll stick with thirteenth. I think 
It's a good, good. We last mm. season we finished fifth. Deep, I think it's it's really tricky because it's it's really tight. Like from thirteenth to seventeenth, there's only a three point difference. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. it's so tight down there. I think we're 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 not break top ten this year. You can give us a couple of years, we won't break top ten. Yeah. Well, top ten: Bournemouth from thirty three and Brighton on twenty six. So that's what seven points out. Um, I'm gonna say twelfth. Yeah, I predicted eleventh. I think at the start. Yeah. But I'm gonna say twelfth for Brighton. Okay. I think twelfth. That's not too bad. I'll yeah. Say that. Yeah. I think that Brighton will stay around a similar place. I think, well, if they play like they are, I think they might drop to about 16th. Okay. But yeah, if they have a strong yeah. end to the season, I reckon they might be like a 15th, 14th place. Well, I found that our last two games are Arsenal and City, so oh, we, need to be oh. done, we need to be done by that point. Oh, we need Jesus. to have a six point. We need, to, we need to hit the 40 point before that. Well, yeah. I think you might get a cheeky draw against Arsenal, but City, you'll get battered. But oh, well, that's yeah. it's ages away. So, yeah, okay, right, next one, James. Okay, so on to the Magpie. Newcastle. It's, it's safe to say you got off to an absolutely woeful start. Well, for months and months, but now things are starting, so it's starting to go on the up for Newcastle. At the start of the season. My bird better than your bird. <laughs> you didn't have a bird anymore. Oh! So mine's much better than yours. Snap. That was a bit of a, a oh. reference back to our first video. Yes. A very accidental, my bird's better than yours thing, magpies, bluebirds, whatever. Yeah. Um, Newcastle. We start. Uh, lost 2-1 to Spurs, then lost 2-1 to City as well. Um, you know, we lost 2-1 to Chelsea as well, and where we, you know, but we scored against all of them. Um, and to be fair, our defence is actually pretty good. Like, goals conceded, we've, only, we've, we've conceded 32, right? Which is four less than Brighton. But if you look at our defenders, you know, Fabian Schaar, uh, from being signed from, you know, a relegated Spanish League One side, you know, um, it's been decent. Uh, Lascelles has been good. Um, Lejeune coming back from injury, and we play them three in, in, in centre backs. Mm-hmm. Uh, play Yedlin at right back, and we play a five back. We've had Matt Ritchie at left wing back, um, but that's all changed because we've signed Antonio um, Barreca from Monaco on loan until the end of the season. So he's a quite an attacking left wing back. This was today, wasn't it? This yeah. was today. We signed him yeah. today, um, but we still have Paul Dummett as well. But I think he was injured, so that's why I've been playing Ritchie there. Uh, but as long as we've got back up now for when Dummett comes back or hopefully Barreca might play tomorrow against, not tomorrow, Saturday against Spurs. Um, 21 goals scored, Rondon, our top scorer with six. Uh, what can I say? Rondon's been, well, <laughs> it's been our six best goals. Goal. Six goals. <laughs> I mean, six is all right. I wouldn't say it's, I mean, I mean I, we got 10, so I can't really say much, but you expect your, your strikers to score, you know, 10 plus a, a season. Mm. Well, behind Rondon, it's not... It's Kieran yeah. Clark. Yeah. Kieran Clark has three goals. He's a centre back. Yeah. Mm. It's just a centre back. Duffy's four. Duffy. four. Yeah. Um, Twenty-one goals scored. Six of them is Rondon, and Rondon actually has the second most assists in our team as well with three. Six goals and three assists for a striker is it's not too yeah. bad. Pretty good because you play a lone striker, don't you? Lone striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Richie's got the most assists with four. We've had six wins, six draws, twelve defeats. On 24 points, we currently sit 14th in the table, two yeah. points behind Brighton. That big win against City. A big win against City. Which, uh, really no one expected it. You know, uh, yeah. Helped you out, but you dream with Leicester. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll have a good end to the season because it beat City. You know, everyone's going in and we're getting some more, you know, uh, confidence. Key's back from the Asian Cup, so he if he's I think he's got an injury, but as soon as he gets fit, he'll be back in. Shelby has an injury as well, but there's yeah, oh. they've, they've, they've all been to like Barcelona to see specialists, and not they're all they're all left. Oh. Um, but we have signed today, just a couple of minutes ago actually, Miguel Almiron from Atlanta United in the MLS for a club record twenty one million. What? Twenty one yeah. million Newcastle. 20, right? Exactly twenty one million have Newcastle. I- Am I dreaming? Newcastle no, spent that only one million. You just spent fifty million, uh, fifty million. Yeah, but this so is, you can't talk. Yeah, but this is Newcastle. Yeah. Well, basically, like, go on, Rafa. Rafa Benitez has said, "Right, I'm leaving if you don't give me players." Pretty much, he, he, he didn't say that so many words, but he made it seem like he could, could he could walk out. Yeah, um, you know, before the end of the season, mm. if Mike actually didn't, you know, actually yeah. offer him something. So. On the day, it was like, okay, well, the, the deal for Armoron's dead. And I was like, right, we've wanted him since November. What's going on? A couple of hours later, it was Armoron's flying to the UK to go ahead to Newcastle. Whoa. And I was thinking, well, what a change. But from seeing him, what he's done in the MLS, you know, he looks like a really sick 
player. Um, oh, I'm trying to I think, think he had, one thing. I think he had 13 goals and mm. about 12 assists in the yeah. MLS last season. That's not bad. I know he's an MLS player. What I'll say is, this is the same with, this is what I just said about proper, is the MLS and the Eredivisie are so highly like uh, built up and stuff. Mm. However, most, like, can you remember the last person to come from the MLS that would do really well? DeAndre Yedlin. Doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, obviously, you see, players, you players, the... players have gone to an MLS, like mm. Rooney, Zlatan, Gerard. David Villa, Pirlo, Lampard. Gerard, where are you? What are you talking about? You didn't say Gerard? He did. You he didn't. did. Because uh, he said it. <laughs> I thought you were going to repeat it, though. Yeah, LA Galaxy. Oh. Whoops, guess I slipped. Like Gerard. Oh! Whoa. Uh-huh. <laughs> You dick. That was, that was an underhand that, tactic. You're keeping that in the video. Wait, you, have, you got, have you got United shirt under, underneath that? <laughs> you got, you got, I've got a <laughs> Could do more business. Uh, Andreas Samaras from Benfica is a, is a midfielder. He's been linked. Anthony Limbombe from, from Nats. He's been linked as well. He's a winger. Couple of outgoings, perhaps. Isaac Hayden once. He's put in a transfer request at the summer, but we didn't want to let him leave because we didn't have all the backup we needed. And then Jacob Murphy as well. He was apparently going to West Brom on loan. But that's if we get someone in to replace him. Still plenty of hours left of the transfer window, though, mm. um, to see what we can do. But we've at least signed two players that look quite key. You know, we didn't really have that, you know, centre attack of me, which is what Armoron is. And I know the defenders aren't the same in the MLS as they are in the Premier League. But seeing his pace and what he can do and, you know, some of his shots and everything, you know, like, I just hope he can bring that to the Premier League. I'm not going to put too much pressure on him to succeed because, obviously, I know for any player from any other league it takes time to get used to the Premier League with all, you know, its pace and the competitiveness of all of it and stuff. But I hope that Amaron can be feeding the right balls into Rondon because we see Rondon can, can mm. score, you know, from, from headers, shots, any angle, you know. Uh, but I hope Amaron can give us some goals, some assists to Rondon, and hopefully we'll right. stay defensively strong because mm. we actually we have the sixth best defence in the Premier League. Really? Yeah. What? That's actually that, that was a stat that Sky six Sports that someone said. The sixth, the sixth, sixth best. Why you thought <laughs> 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 well, Something's not right there. Because we haven't what? scored. Uh, it, might, it might be in the last few games, but like, as in defensively, we're always really good, but it's when... You know, they skip, they get through and they, they score them, them one goal. We always lose by one goal. Yeah. It's like I would say that. Um, but yeah, as, in terms of where we're going to finish, let's get on to that. Um, well, yeah. So yeah, Newcastle finished, then me and James will put, put in with ours. I think... I'm not, I'm not sure we'll be able to push into the top ten. Not, not now. Mm. Especially when we need Bournemouth and Leicester and West Ham to yeah. lose quite a lot of games consecutively. Yeah, so I'm just going to we'll, we'll so I'm just going to say that we'll um, we'll finish around you know the, the 13, 14 mark. Mm. I reckon that you know Brighton and Newcastle will probably be next to each other all the way till the end, and yeah. that'll be the way. It's I mean, there's a there's a five point gap between West Ham and Brighton. Exactly. So, yeah. So I mean, you know. West Ham would have to lose two games and Brighton would have to win yeah. two or you know win one, draw one, whatever to actually even be in a shot with them. So yeah. we'll see. Things can okay. change, but I reckon that Newcastle and Brighton will be around the thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth mark. All right. Well, I predicted uh, Newcastle to finish seventh at the start oh, of the week. You made a mistake. I know seventh. I think I was way too optimistic because I just thought you could finish tenth last season. So I was like, you can build on that, but no. Um, <laughs> maybe <laughs> next, next season. Next season um, with the new players you've got. Um, but um, yeah, I think. Ford. It's tricky. I don't know whether you're going to build on that win over City, or you're you going to like, oh, that was a one-off, and you're going to start losing games again, which I hope you don't. I mean, it was a penalty, so I mean, yeah. there was an element of luck to it. it City did dominate the game, or... but still, you won. That was all that matters, and it was great. Um, yeah. But mm, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm going to say fifteenth for Newcastle. I can't. They see... drop. They no. drop from seventh. Uh, yeah, just well, just because <laughs> well, the stuff up the fourteenth. There's a big gap between well, please, the top yeah. between them and the top like, seven. To be fair though, because Wolves are isn't a lot. Wolves. Wolves are on thirty five and Brighton are on twenty six. That's only nine points. Yeah, yeah, but Wolves don't drop that much points. They've done really, they've done really well. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say I, I said I said yeah. in the first video I really hope Wolves don't do well because I just, I, I, the whole Portuguese stuff. But I mean, Wolves Wolves they've done seven. really. Well, well. I, I knew Wolves. I knew Wolves would do really well because they they bought the most players when they bought them to the championship. So I'm Fulham. Fulham. I said Crystal Palace were going to get in there, and Crystal Palace are yeah. on 23. They're only four points out, so yeah. Crystal Palace are going to have a tough time. We do still have 14 games left, so anything can happen. Yeah, still 14 games left, of course. This is only mid season, or two more, more of a three fifths. Because <laughs> yeah, <the> yeah. <laughs> we're a bit past halfway now. But, hey, so, where do you think Newcastle will finish? I'm going to say 11. I think, I think you'll do. I think, with, with, and I, as much as I talk smack about Almiron, I think he'll do well. 
I think well, he'll he'll give you those goals to I think he'll push up to eleventh, I think. Potentially even tenth. Tenth. Going for the same premises last yeah. year. Yeah, well, that, that would be great happens. considering he's a you, a it'd lot be, of people thought Newcastle go down be against success, so. I think. Yeah. If, if you did that, I think Rafa would stay for a lot longer. Oh, yeah. I hope Rafa stays. I don't think Rafa could take it for a lot longer. Cup or not? <laughs> no, we got knocked out by Watford. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. It's just, really just asking for the cup then. <laughs> just, just Brighton, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, only by replay. Who are Brighton playing? West Brom. Liverpool, go on. Hey! Go, so, go, talk. Go Here we go. So, um, well, I was going to say. So, of course, uh, Liverpool are top of the Premier League. 61 points uh, with a nice five point gap. Could have been seven, if, but we had a pretty disappointing draw against Leicester last night. But still, five point gap. I, that's still, Liverpool fans will take you that. Had a chance if we'd have taken that at the start of the season, five, five point gap. Did at we all predict Liverpool to win the league? No, you both, City? you both said City. We and both I was, said City. Uh, well, but I, 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 I said I, Liverpool, and you both, you both looked at me like it's Liverpool, and I was like, look, there we are, boys. But yeah. Top of the league. I really, really, really hope Liverpool can do it um, because I just think it's so, so good. I love how I see I see so many things on Facebook like, uh, I know. dear Leicester fans, please beat it's, Liverpool. It's, <laughs> we don't want to hear this for the rest of eternity. Yeah. It's so pathetic. There's so many, like all the City, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea and United fans have all merged together because we apparently, it's, it's, apparently Liverpool is such a hated club that they all want to see us lose and bottle it. No, it's just because you'll never shut up about it. That's the problem. It's not that. Of course it? we wouldn't. We haven't won the league since 1991. It's going to be the, the best thing ever. We so. haven't won the league since... Yeah. Never won the league so you yeah know. it's gonna be amazing if Liverpool <laughs> win the league, so but anyway yeah of course so yeah I really hope Liverpool can do it so yeah anyway 61 points uh, top goal scorer is Mohamed Salah with 16 goals he's having another great season if Mane and Firmino are right behind I love that you put three top scorers and we both got two no because Ma- they're right behind each other Man- <laughs> well it's the front three isn't it Mane, Salah, Firmino well, I don't think anyone else has scored for Newcastle only apart from maybe Perez few <laughs> goals yeah, so Mane with 10 Firmino with 9 uh, assists Salah 7 so Salah 16 goals 7 assists what a player Robertson Andy Robertson I'm happy that they're both my fancy team so oh really oh, yeah. yeah same mine too Andy yeah. Robertson he's even got his own chant now people the fans love him they're five. I think he played for Hull relegated Hull a few years ago now look at him what a, what a transformation five, 5 assists for Robertson 19 wins 4 draws and only 1 defeat and that was to City to Manchester um, City yeah 55 goals scored only 14 conceded which is the least in the whole league we're just not conceding any goals this season I think that's why we're doing so well um, because you look at Allison, look at Van Dijk. Now Klopp's brought now they've, those they've, those two have merged. And our defense is just so much better, and it was last year. And we're just we're just not conceding goals. That's why we're doing so well. Oh, 13, 13 clean sheets. You could have won that game Top. last night, but you mentioned mentioned <laughs> Allison Van Dijk. Van Dijk was at fault for Maguire's goal. Oh, yeah, we had an off night last night. It was hopefully that was a one off. Is he he got blamed on the snow? Did he? He blamed on the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's the biggest excuse in the world. Uh, well, it, we, weren't, like, we weren't good enough last night. I think a draw was the fair result, but hopefully that was a one-off and we can get back to winning ways against West Ham next Monday because um, we need to keep this winning streak going because, of course, we want to keep the, keep the gap on City clear. Uh, yeah, and 13 clean sheets, which I'm very proud of. We're just not conceding any goals. That's the big thing right there. We're just Our goal difference is brilliant. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, um, I think Liverpool will still win the league. I'm, of course I do. I think Liverpool are going to go on. We've only lost one game in 24 games that's that's the big stat right there if we can keep that going to the, for the next, the next 14 games Liverpool can win that Premier League trophy and it will be oh it'll be great it'll be great so yeah, yeah. what do you guys think um, I'll start with James I think you, I've got a feeling you don't, you don't you dare say who I think you dare say <laughs> who do you think Liverpool are going to finish I think fourth no I'm kidding what I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> that'll be a huge turnaround hell no will we um, I think you'll win woo I think you'll win the title thank you just I think it'll be a really? point, a point in it. I think a point over a point, point. or goal difference. You think City are going to catch up? I well, think slowly, so. but sure. I think what will happen is you will you'll do all right for now, and then the last four games you'll drop points, Ooh. and you'll win by a point. Mm. That's all by goal difference. Okay, but you think Liverpool in the league? You're still in the league. Yes. League. All right. Thanks, one James. Okay, Callum. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say that Liverpool. Win yes. The Thank you, boys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you, you pay me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are five points ahead, and mm. Liverpool, you know, they've only lost one game. Man City have lost four to even what even one to this yes. team. Right Thank here. you, Newcastle. Um, Thank you, Rafa. You know, I just think that Liverpool have the players, they've got the defence, you know, yeah. and unless something goes drastically wrong. Um, you know, I, I just think that Liverpool yeah. are going to be able to... Hold it's like not 13-14 all over, if all it's over again. Be, if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be Henderson, I can guarantee you. <laughs> oh. Liverpool man through and through, and it's Henderson that slipped. Well, here's a new Steven Gerrard, isn't it? So yeah, no, we're not going to have a repeat of the 13-14 season. We're going to relax close, and then it all fell apart. I've like, no, 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 game live. 
I, wa I watched it live and I, I was, I was in tears. <laughs> and then, then the Crystal Palace game happened. That oh god. Oh, that was no, oh yeah. That yeah. was for, I, Suarez was, was Suarez was like. But that, was, for them. Was, that was a long time ago. It's a completely different team now, a completely different tactic. So I think this is the season where we can win it. So yeah, that, those are our throws through with our three teams. So now we're going to finish off finish off the video with who we think will get relegated and who we think will get in the top four. Oh, and on. then whoa, whoa! I was reading this. Newcastle have only, had, have only scored twenty one goals. The only two to score less are Cardiff and Huddersfield. Newcastle are the third worst scoring team in the Premier League. So the seventh best defence, but the third worst in goal. <laughs> yeah. That is nuts. That is nuts. So we're going to finish off with our who we think will get relegated and who we think will get we'll top four, and then we might do European places too, with six and seven. So yeah, and fifth. Say. So yeah, we'll start off with James. Who's going down? Who's going down? Well, uh, Hud well safe, safe, Huddersfield. I, I, I definitely I said in the first place: Huddersfield, Cardiff, yeah. and Southampton. Southampton. And at the moment, I'm right with two of them: Cardiff and Huddersfield. Yeah. Huddersfield are down. They're, they're Huddersfield gone. Huddersfield are gone. They're so gone. Bless them. Yeah. They they did all right last season, but eleven points. <laughs> it's, so I feel bad for them, but it, it's close to being a derby. A derby. If you remember the 2009 derby season. Oh yeah, well they, they did. got nine. Or nine points. <sighs> something like that. It's the worst ever. Mm. Yeah, it's going to take something magnificent for yeah, them. They've to only won this. two games the entire season. Yeah. One, yeah. Drew, yeah. drew five and lost seventeen. And David Wagner got the sack, which I like. I like David. Uh, he was like Klopp's best best mate, but yeah, yeah he got the sack and draw. That so was. I think Southampton will stay up. I, I changed my position, my mind. Yeah. they've got Danny Ings. He's scoring the goals for them. So. I'm going to say. Go. Do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say Burnley. Burnley. I think Fulham will stay up. Burnley beat United the other day, though. No, they drew. Yeah, they drew. They drew the the yeah. They, they bowled it. Two goals against United. That's impressive. So I think Fulham will stay up. I think I think it'll be Cardiff, Huddersfield, and Burnley will go down. Okay. But I think again, like like Liverpool, one one point. I think Burnley will lose. On, you think on, Fulham on, will stay up? I think Fulham will stay up Fulham. on the last day. On the last day, they'll the stay six, up. The six points clear of safety. Well, but, well, uh, well, not clear of safety. Fourteen but. games left. Yeah, that's yeah. two games. I think the last day it'll be tight. Yeah. I think this will be. I think Huddersfield and Cardiff will, will go down. With games to spare, I think Fulham will take it down to the wire. I think Fulham, Burnley, and Southampton, and okay. maybe Palace. Okay, all right, Callum. Um, well, I'm actually going to go for who's in the current bottom three. Uh, I'm going to say Cardiff, um, Fulham, and Huddersfield will get relegated because Huddersfield is a definite that's going to happen because you know two wins. They're, they're pretty much do dreadful. You remember in the uh, in the comments that we got slated for, for ranting about Cardiff. You did, yeah. One fan. The Huddersfield fan. And now the Huddersfield fans are coming at us and stuff. Yeah. Brilliant. And then um, someone said my goosey was shit. Fulham, Fulham beat Brighton, to be fair, 4 2 the other day. They could, but I thought that was just kind of lucky. Brighton should have won the match, really. And Cardiff have been struggling. They're all struggling. 26, 28, and 28 gold, minus, minus goal difference for each of the three teams. Yeah. Um, and some of the lowest scorers in the league. Um, Funny enough, <laughs> just like Newcastle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I reckon Cardiff, Fulham, and Huddersfield go down just because they're in the bottom three now. I know there's 14 games left, but they just seem to be really poor. All right, well, I'm very similar. Huddersfield are gone. I mean, there's no way they're coming back. 11 points. They're, they're, they're what? What? 12 points out out. Of if they wanted to get out of the relegation zone, that's, that's not going to happen. Mm. The more points than they've actually got. <laughs> um, it's poor Huddersfield. So yeah, they, that's true. they're gone. They're gone. Um, I think Fulham are gone too. I think they've had a really bad season. You two thought Fulham would do really well. I didn't say. Yeah. I did say Fulham were going to go down. You two were like they do really well with Mitrovic yeah. and all that. But yeah, they've had a really bad season. <laughs> so we had to cut that short. Sorry, because people start taking over the taking over the classroom. Yeah. So um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, I've got Huddersfield, Fulham, and Burnley to go down. Not Cardiff. No, I think Cardiff will stay up. Just, okay. just, just about. Just about. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. And um, yeah, then top four quickly. Top four. Uh, I will say Liverpool top because you know. I think City will come second, we'll be close. I think Tottenham will come third. Yeah. And I think United will edge it. And again, I think that'll be like a, a last game, one day, one game, two games left. Okay. But it'll be tight. But I think, I think Wolves will get Europa League place. Yeah, they've done really well, Wolves. So, okay, Callum, yeah. top four. Uh, I think um, Liverpool's going to win, City will come second. I don't know about Tottenham because Harry Kane's out until March, so they could lose a lot of points there. Because running up Fernando Llorente, he wasn't the best. Um, and they're not signing anyone. Um, so I think Tottenham will fall back. I think Man United will come third. And I think Arsenal will make Champions League places. Uh, and I think Wolves will make Europa League. Okay, thank you. So yeah, and on to my... And then we'll end the video with my top four. So Liverpool to win the league. Come on, Reds! Um, City to get second. Um, Tottenham to get third. I think they're good. Too good. The fourth, fifth and sixth is where it's really tight. 
because United are on the rise, of course, on the on the under Solskjaer, eight wins in a row, and Chelsea aren't, Chelsea are kind of collapsing a little bit under Sarri. So I'm gonna say United to get fourth. Sadly, I just think under Solskjaer they're on, they're on a bit of a riot rule at the minute, aren't they? And Chelsea are falling apart under Sarri. Arsenal are kind of it's kind of up and down, isn't it, at the minute with Arsenal? So I'm gonna say United get fourth, probably only just, and Chelsea and Arsenal will get fifth and sixth. And Wolves, and Wolves will get seventh with uh, a European spot. And that's happy. I like, I like Wolves. So, um, so um, thank you for watching, guys. And um, from from James and Callum, yeah, thank you very much. And we'll be back well, probably at the end of the season. Hopefully, we'll be um, laughing and happy. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in a bit. Cheers. <laughs> cool.